Today is Sunday, Chloe. Let me sleep all day. Tomorrow, new CEO is joining. Who is very strict? He wants everyone on time. Please. Today is my birthday, Vyan. What kind of friend you are? Who can't celebrate her birthday? I said happy birthday. What else you want? If you want, we will celebrate tomorrow in office. Are you for real? You are sleeping since last night. Still, still you want to sleep? I don't want to come. Please let me sleep. And you know that I'm not a club person. If you didn't come, our friendship is over. Is some kind of a threat? Warning. Okay, fine. I'm coming. Why you guys love club so much? I love you, Vaini. This is gonna be fun. See you, Goland. You throw your phone and side heavily sit on the bed and look at the time. I could have slept for two more hours. My Sunday, you fake cried. You come out of the washroom wearing a black dress looking in mirror. Gosh, I'm looking beautiful, you said to yourself while looking in mirror. You put some light makeup and got ready. Check the address which Chloe sent you. You wear your footwear and ready to go. I'll be back soon, my bad, you said dramatically. You reached at the venue but still confused because there are two clubs and you got a call from Chloe. I was about to call you. Yeah, I'm confused. There are two clubs. Which one I have to come? The night right one? X6 club. Should I come to outside? No, no, I'm coming. You enter as you showed the pass and there is a little dark when God said, Ma'am, walk carefully. Thank you. As you walked a little, something stuck in your foot and you stumbled when someone held your hand and you looked up there. Is a handsome face with a cold look. Be careful. Thank you. You said nervously and stand straight. When he walked in, another man with him waved and walked inside. Shit, that was embarrassing. You bite your lips and walked inside. You all are sitting, having chit chat and drinking. You didn't drink because it didn't suit you. They all are drinking when you're getting bored and Zia speaks. Ryan, look, that guy is staring you for a long time. And you looked at the direction and you see the guy who helped you was looking at you and looked away. He is looking somewhere, you casually said. She is so beautiful. Should I approach her? He said while drinking and looking at you. Go and when she'll rob you, don't come to me. Aish, not all girls are the same. Just look at her. Isn't she looks so innocent by face? Don't judge a book by its cover. Alright, you won. Now happy? Let's play truth and dare. Yes. No, they all looked at you. Why in? Why are you so boring? We aren't going to play, okay? Yes, that's final. We are here to enjoy. Yeah, it will be fun. You roll your eyes. Okay, Chloe spins the bottle and it stops at Zia. She chose the truth. Then it's saying she chose Zia. She got there to flirt with a man at the counter. And she completed it and it's Chloe. She got a dare to drink from the guy's class who is sitting next to her. She completed it and now it's your turn. Wait, why you won't choose dare? You are an open book. Choose dare. Yes. Okay, dare. I'll give her dare. Why and kiss that guy who was staring you at earlier. 
What? No. Yes. Oh, come on, Wayne. You are a grown-up woman now. Why are you behaving like a kid? Everyone completed their dare. You can't back out. Exactly. You gave me the dare, so you have to complete it. I don't want to waste my first kiss. Please don't do this. Oh God, if I have to waste my first kiss on a handsome hunk like him, I will do it, it happily. Complete the dare, Ryan. See, again he is looking here. She said while looking at him. Uh, to which one are you talking about? Don't play innocent, Ryan. That black coat, handsome one. Second one is cute and charming. He is looking scary. What if he is mafia or something? Zia got up and dragged you to get up. We push you a little. Go. Complete the dare. While your whole body is trembling because they're both looking at you, you turn and said, I don't know how to kiss, you whispered. While they all looked you in disbelief, Jane speaks. That's good. Now you will know how to. Go ahead. And Jane pushed you while. You gulped hard and looked at them. Take slow steps while they both looking at you. Jimin smiled while Jungkook ignored. You go stand in front of them when Jimin speak. Do you need any help, miss? You remain silent and look back at them. They gesture you to do when Jimin looked at them. They behave like they don't know you. You were playing with your fingers and try to approach Jungkook when Jimin speaks. Miss, he's not interested in girls. Tell me, if, how can I help you? Actually, I have some work from him. You know, Suri said when Jungkook raised his brows and looked at you. As far I remember, I have nothing to do with you. And secondly, you can't enter in VIP section. You are screaming internally as you scared as and look back again when they are giving you dead clears. You took a long breath and gathered all your courage. Sorry. You said sorry and bent down to his level when he looked at you confusingly and also Jimin looked at you confusingly. Sorry. Once again. You said and grabbed his collar and touched your lips with his. While Jimin's mouth parted and also your fence. While Jungkook is still in shock and your eyes are closed. And it's long fact not a proper kiss because it was your first time. After a few minutes you broke and didn't bother to look at him and ran from there while well, Jungkook still couldn't fathom what just happened. Your friends followed you. His heart is beating fast when Jimin spoke. What was that? Jungkook snapped back. What the hell? Who was she? Whosoever she is, but she stole your first kiss. I will not leave her. He got up and ran outside to look for you, but you are not there. You reached to your house and closed the door and breathing heavily, thinking about what you have done just few moments before. Oh god, next wine, that was a kiss only. You consoled yourself, but that was my first kiss. <laughs> you shrugged off. Leave it, I need to sleep. You threw yourself on the bed. You reached your office. And when you meet Chloe and she smiled at you. Why you ran from there, huh? Shut up, Chloe. Don't remind me that moment again. Okay. New CEO is joining us in an hour. We have to welcome him. Let's go. You know that. Everyone gathered as the new CEO is will be there in any moment. You all were waiting for him with flowers and you were looking at their watch. When a man entered wearing mask and you, your eyes widened when you noticed that second club guy with him. You hide in crowd and drag Chloe. He is that club guy who was fair with him. You said in lowers. Is he? And you looked again when Jungkook removed his marks and the ground slipped under your feet and your heart stopped and someone speak. He is our new CEO, Mr. John Jungkook, and everyone clapped. While your heart is beating fast and your mind is messed up and you are 
dead glared at Chloe, who was already looking at you while smiling nervously. And you raised your brows, and she shrugged. And she quickly take out her mask and wear it. Wear the mask, otherwise he'll know. She whispered. Are you for real? I'm his secretary. And what if he'll ask me? Say you have flu when manager call your name. Miss Ryan and you were back facing him and when you quickly put your mask. Y- yes, Mr. Lee? Stuttering voice and Jungkook looked at you when you slowly came. Sir, she is Miss Joey Ryan, your secretary. He introduces you to Jungkook while you trying to your best not to look at him and you bored. Good morning, sir. Miss Ryan, he gestured you to give the flowers to him which you were holding and you quickly gave him the flowers while looking down and he looked at you suspiciously. Miss Ryan, why are you wearing mask, please? S- s- sir, I have flu actually. Oh, okay. As you all already got to know how strict I am for work, I don't want any type of leniency regarding work, so don't. I don't think twice firing people, those who make mistakes, and second, those who drooling over me, stop it. I don't like this, he straightforwardly said, and who all staring at him looked down. God, he's so handsome but arrogant, she whispered. He walked and everyone followed him while you walked to Chloe. Chloe, what I'm going to do? What if he'll fire me? I wish he'll not. What I'm going to do, Chloe? You guys got me in trouble. Why I agreed to go? I would rather sleep. Chloe is about to speak when Mr. Lee come. Why in? What are you doing here? Boss is calling you. He's very strict, didn't I told you? Sorry, Mr. Lee. Go fast. You board and run. May I come in, sir? Come, he said while looking in some files and you enter nervously while playing with your fingers. I think you can't hear properly, Miss Vyan. I told earlier that I don't like the people who neglect their work. Raising his brows. Sorry, sir. You said while looking down and when he stepped forward towards you, making you step back. So he won't work for me. You didn't look at him. I'm standing in front of you, Ian. Look at me. Cold voice and sending shivers to your body. You slowly looked up, avoiding his eye contact with him. Remove the mask. And come more closer to you. Huh? And your heart stopped. I don't like to repeat. Sir, I have flu. Really? But you don't have flu yesterday when you kissed me, he straightforwardly said. Your heart stopped and shiver ran down in your body. You looked at him with the wide open eyes. He came closer and put his hand on in his in his pocket and raised his brows. Come on, you miss kiss Taylor. You closed your eyes and removed the mask. He backed away. Now what should I do with you? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. Your words cut it off by him. You are fired, Miss Ryan. And you phoned your bros. I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know about you. I just did that because I got a dare. You said in one go. Jungkook turned and looked at you. And come closer to you again. Really? You can kiss anyone for dare, huh? Raise his bro and you remain silent. And after a while you speak. So, I didn't know about you. Also, you don't know about me. That was a mistake. Please forgive me. I need this job. Okay, I won't fire you. Just resign by yourself and you'll get time to find a new job. So, why are you mixing up personal and professional life? Keep them separate, sir. Really, don't teach me how to keep personal and professional life separate. And I know these types of girls. Why they do this? Getting his teeth and you raise your bros. 
What do you mean by these types of girls? Do I look like a fool to you? Or do you think I'm one of them who easily got trapped? Cut it off, Wayne's word. Enough, Mr. John Jungkook. What do you know about me, huh? You want me to fire? Then do that. You angrily said in a little high pitch. Jungkook gritted his teeth and grabbed your shoulder harshly. Don't you dare to raise your voice again. His eyes turned red and veins popped out. I won't fire you. You will resign by yourself and serve the notice period. Why my work neglected because of you? I'll find other secretary in that period. You freed yourself from his grip. I don't want to work for you. I'm resigning on the spot. You angrily said. Okay, then pay the compensation and you can leave. You gulped as you know you can't pay the compensation as it is high to according to your salary. And they are swam in your eyes but you didn't let them out. Then German entered and stopped and looked at you. Hey, the club girl, I was right. Why were you lying? You didn't answer and when he looked at Jungkook who was burning in anger and looked at you. Notice tears in your eyes. I know you can't pay. Just do what I said. I want your resignation letter now. You gulped and nodded. Uh, okay, sir. And you left from there. Hey, Jungkook. How could you do this? This is wrong. You should know the difference between personal and professional. Jungkook glared at him. It was just a kiss. Why are you so mad? Jungkook massaged his temple. You can't throw your anger every time. Not every girl is same, Jungkook. Why you think like that? All girls are gold diggers. Just grow up. Chairman. You should overcome your insecurities. Not every girl is same. And she never approached you. All girls are same. They never go for the person. They run behind their money. Okay, I can't make you understand. You are so stubborn and I'm sure you will regret it sooner. John Jungkook never regrets. I'm sorry, Vaina. Please forgive me. If you want, I also resign with you. Soft tone and you are printing paper. You don't need to resign. You turn and Chloe held your wrist. If you are mad at me, then slap me, scold me. Do anything which you want to do. But please don't behave like this. You know, I'm really mad at you. But I can't do any of them. Chloe hugged you. I'm so sorry. Chloe said and patted your back. It's okay. You don't need to feel bad for me. I will find a new job. He's very arrogant. Not only arrogant, he's rude too. And don't have manners to talk with a girl. He thinks I'm a gold digger. Arrogant John. He called you gold digger? I will kill him. How dare he? Does he even know about you? She said while making a fist and you chuckle with your teary eyes. Okay, okay, I should go now or else he again shout on me. You sign the resignation letter and handing him while he's staring at you. You have to serve for three months, good. Then be ready. It's not that if you are on resignation period, you won't work. He said while looking at the resignation letter. You don't have to worry, sir. I'm a hardworking person. You were about to leave when he held your wrist and pulled you. And your face crashed to his hard chest and you two are very close and have eye contact. And he felt something which he shrugged off. Your heart stopped due to closeness. Did I ask you to leave? 
You can say this without touching me. Looking in his eyes. And you can invade anyone's personal space, huh? And you look down. What say about this one? Do you like it? I wanted to make it one shot, but it didn't come out as I thought. So what should I do? Make it a mini series? Tell me in comment section. If you enjoyed, so please like and subscribe to my channel and comment and tell me what you say about this one. Yes, don't take FFs very seriously guys. It's just a fictional story. It's nothing related to uh, uh, real life. So please don't take it personal. It hurts very bad when you comment like this that you didn't satisfied with that anything you write. It takes a lot of hard work to write a story then make it for you guys.